Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the boys inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite Explosive when we're playing it's a little bit of golf with the oh, with your friends. You like uh, mini golf, man? Uh, I mean, I guess. I wouldn't say I like mini golf. And, like, I'm not like a mini golf enthusiast. I mean, I don't do you hate mini golf? I don't hate mini golf. Would you go play mini golf if like people were going to play and be like, hey, Saturday night, you want to go play some mini golf? After COVID? I mean, it depends. On what? I, Is there a girl there that you want to try to have sex with? Wow. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. <laughs> what is that? What, am I that one dimensional to you? I, got, I love when I just throw this <laughs> shit at you out of nowhere. <laughs> You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like You're you, like, now hold on. Not saying that wouldn't be enticing, but. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because that would definitely influence it, but that is not. <laughs> Not Sir, <laughs> the only thing that I think about when I think about whether or not I'd go mini golfing. Fair, fair, fair. Um, yeah, I don't know. It just kind of depends on like who's going, what what kind of day it is. Yeah, the one here in Austin, there's two 18 hole courses, and you can bring your own beer, and no. you can carry it. You can like wheel a cooler around with you. I thought you were gonna say it's open carry. <laughs> oh, look at this pro! <laughs> that was an easy hole. <laughs> like it is could... open carry. You can have no. your gun there too. <laughs> I mean, well, yeah. Yeah, if, you, if you can't get into the hole that's made, you just shoot a new hole into the course. Oh, fair enough. That's the way I handle you most of my one problems. one thing you needed to do. What? The way I handle most of my problems is to just pull the gun out. <laughs> yeah, we, I mean, it's that Texas state of mind, friend. I got a Texas state of mind. No, I haven't <laughs> been uh, I haven't been mini golfing in quite some time. Last time I went mini golfing, there was a mini golf place. I think it was in... EA. Mm -hmm. And it was uh, right next to like this little this little local ice cream shop. Probably some of the best ice cream I've ever had. But uh, yeah, I went with a girl at the time. Yeah. That's something that, that's, that's one of those things that it's like you have to do with a girl. Yeah, like me and you wouldn't just go play mini golf. Hey, bro, you want to go play some mini golf? <laughs> Trying to get some strokes in, no pun intended. <laughs> You know what's funny is that honestly, I was thinking about like uh, you know once once things are more settled down that uh, I would like to go to like Top Flight or something. Oh, and hit uh, like driving range. Yeah, I, dude, I've heard that's super fun. Cause you just drink beer and hit and hit golf balls. Like that's saying. fun. I could definitely see me and you, or me, you, and uh, a couple other people, Pete. We could uh, we could go and uh, hit some balls. Oh yeah, I would for sure. Oh geez, now, now I see what you need to do. Yeah, I would for sure go to Top Flight, dude. I wouldn't go like weekly, but I would go every so often. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's it's like one of those novelty things. But come on. Oh, I uh, yeah, go full bore. Um, I okay. I uh, have not went mini golfing since I've lived in Austin. So I'll be in Austin. Oh wow. Uh eight years this year so it's been eight years minimum since i went to play mini golf oh wow really yeah wait i almost played mini golf <laughs> you almost played mini in golf. ohio i went to jeeve on the lake when i was home and I, and I almost played mini golf but they were closing and so we didn't even start because we wouldn't have been able to finish before they closed <laughs> so i almost played you i was thinking played. about playing attempted mini golf I, 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 holy crap. I, uh, walked up to the window and saw the teenage boy behind the counter waiting to take my funds. He was like, sir, we close in 30 minutes. You will not have time to play our course. And I said, sorry. <laughs> Didn't realize there was a dragon here. Did he have his braces in? Yeah, he was like, would you, would you guys like a, would you guys like a caramel bar for a dollar for, to support my troop? <laughs> <laughs> that how teenage boy is his troop. <laughs> his troop. <laughs> his um, troop. I don't know, dude. I was once a teenage boy. I just don't, I don't remember how he sounded. <laughs> Probably like, ah! <laughs> we were all teenage boys once. Yeah, right? Hmm. Some of you are teenage boys now, and welcome to the channel. Oh. <laughs> you know there's kids that watch this, dude. Well, yeah, probably. I mean, we're... Uh... Oh! We're uh, we're family friendly. Yeah, right? yeah dude. We, we except when Jonas asked me if uh, the only reason I would golf is to have <laughs> relations Coitus with, the with a woman. <laughs> relations with a lady. Yeah. I mean, you know, when you get older, your priorities change. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> do they really? Because I kind of feel like these are the same priorities I've had since I was 12. <laughs> God! Too much force. Yeah, I kind of feel like yeah, my yeah. priorities are uh, exactly Very similar to what the they were when you were 13. Yeah, which is, which is kind of, I mean, uh, it speaks about me, I guess. But Yeah, I feel you. Yeah, dude, I uh, I do enjoy mini golf, though. It's fun. I used to, Me and my grandma, my grandma used to, in the summer, used to um, pick me up, like, once or twice a week, and we would, like, go see a movie on Fridays or go yeah. to lunch or whatever, and uh, sometimes we would go to Happy Acres. Happy Acres? Golf course on the corner of 20 and uh, State Road there that is no longer there. You may not even have lived in Ohio when that was there. And they uh, it was an 18-hole miniature golf course, and at the end, they had a thing that was called Hoops a Daisy, and it was like you could shoot basketballs. And uh, and, and then there was a thing that if you hit your ball into the daisy mouth at the end of it, uh, you got a free round. No. And it was like impossible. So <laughs> it was like impossible. And then they tore it down and put up a CVS. Uh, always, that's how they do it, man. Yeah, it's like everything used to be fun, and now it's a CVS, <laughs> and all it does is give you hemorrhoid cream and STD prescriptions. But, you know, people do need their STD prescriptions. Oh, yeah, dude. How are you going to get rid of the gone gone? Look at this freaking pro. If I don't have my Valtrex, then I am not a happy boy. I turn into a, a total diva. That one wow, you, that one round, you had nine shots. A total diva if I don't have my Valtrex. <laughs> just saying, In dude. facts, I think you have to go up and around because I think yeah. that's a dead end. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know, man, but uh, Jim like Bullock. no, no, no mini golf course I've ever been to was quite this uh, like, extensive. Yeah, dude, yeah. they have like the stupid windmill and ish, and that was really yeah. It wasn't. <laughs> it's always some stupid thing that makes you like hit the ball really soft. Whoever made this is a terrible carpenter. Look how uneven those those beams are. <laughs> Yeah, there's always a, a windmill and like some some river that you have to shoot. Yeah, it hit over. it in the clown's mouth. No, well, yeah, and then watch it flow down the river and it comes then out of his anus. <laughs> watch <laughs> it float down the river. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Oh, there's always one of those where you have to like bank it off the corners. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love the bouncy. That's always the there, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been mini golfing. Well, I've, I've never been to like uh, like batting cages. I should say. Oh no, you know what? I haven't either. I've never been to batting cages either. Now you gotta start over because you stink. I feel like I've tried a batting cage at one point in time, and and uh, it, it was just a, an absolute total failure. I feel like I would be slightly scared. Slightly scared of what? what you the doing? fast pitches. Oh, you were and I feel like I would. Uh, no, I don't, I'm just joking. I don't know. I think batting cages would be fun. Um, I can't hit a ball like with a bat. Like at all? No. Really? Your hand-eye right. coordination. So <laughs> like... no, let me let me tell the story. All right. So all right. Like uh, when I was a little bit younger, dude. I'm I'm a big guy. I'm like six. <laughs> I'm like six three, like two hundred plus pounds, dude. So everybody always wanted me on their sports team. Well, I suck at sports. Right? <laughs> it's like when they look like the six six dude who's like 120 pounds. They're like, hey, be on my basketball team. Yeah, You're like, well, bro, I can't even run. Yeah, I've got a mean <laughs> hook shot, and that's about it. Dude. <laughs> right, I've got right. one one move that I know where I can put the ball behind my back, and that's all I got. I can't even do it. Anyway, regardless. So when it came to like picking teams and stuff, just like friendly friend game teams, everybody want to pick me because you know, like you're big probably do something well guess what i can't pick me to to be on your baseball team what the heck is me being 6'3 gonna help me hit a, a tiny ball with right a bat? absolutely if so, anything like being bigger in baseball isn't better so i remember um i got picked on this team and it's my turn to bet and i'm watching other people like get on base and run and i'm like oh this this looks pretty easy this, this looks, i could do this all right <laughs> yeah, this, this is not that bad this looks pretty simple enough so, I I don't know if that's what you were supposed to do, but it looked good. I uh, I remember getting up to bat, dude. Palms are sweaty. Uh, there's vomit on my shirt already. Yeah, Mom's, you had some mom spaghetti in your pocket. Yeah, dude. I'm I'm all I'm ready to go, and I swing at it once, and it's a strike, right? Okay. And then he pitches again. I swing at it again. A, a, another strike. Okay. And then, like, people are like, oh, now people are starting to doubt him because they're like, oh, big man can't even. <laughs> 
hit the ball. You know, he's just, he's just big now. I'm like, yeah, I'm just big. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, he's that's, just big now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's just a big, big, big dumb, not good at baseball guy. That's yeah. all he is. <laughs> so. I, a determination swelled up in my arms, Jonas. Like I, I was like, I'm gonna freaking shatter this ball. I'm gonna show everybody that I'm not just big and just big for no reason. <laughs> Fair. I did that out. thing where you know, like when you swing at a ball so hard that you you do a spin around and you fall over. And I didn't fall. Oh. All right, I stumbled. <laughs> Right, I stumbled. I was checking the velocity of. I stumbled and then I did like the spin around and everybody laughed and then I, you know, I walked off the baseball field and that was the end of my baseball career. <laughs> Won it bad and <laughs> you just went home. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Where's TNT?" Oh, he went home. Oh yeah, he left. <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, he, I mean, dude, everybody strikes out. I mean, it happens. Yeah, but like, I don't know, like, I shouldn't be embarrassing myself like that. I don't feel the need. I don't feel the need to. Like, I mean, I, I can relate. Yeah, dude, it sucks I've, to be embarrassed at sports. I've never, I've never wanted to be a great baseball player. Yeah, dude, I, me neither. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't tell you. <gasps> Oof. I've never wanted to be like I okay and like I did want to be a great basketball player, but only because like basketball players get like girls and stuff. So. Yeah, baseball players do too. I mean, J Lo. I mean, that's a pretty good woman, <laughs> right? Like, <laughs> I have this whole theory that J, J, J Lo's a colonizer. I'm not gonna share it on the channel. A colonizer? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Don't don't go into what you think she is. Just don't go into what, you think, what you think colonizer is. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I have go? no. Oh, right here. Okay. No, I'm yeah. not going into the reason. I mean, I this, think you're not Jayla. talking about Jayla. You're talking about generalization about colonizers. <laughs> Just because, man. Like she like she wants to have like a commune and have like a cult like that. No. What are you doing? That's not the whole. All of these are holes, dude. They're all they all count. Except for now. Okay, doesn't. except for that one does not count. All right, well, I guess I thought they were all hoes. Dude, they're all hoes. I'm not getting into the colonizer hot take. It's not It's not appropriate for the <laughs> channel, all right? Fair enough. Kids, if you want to know what a colonizer is, look it up, all okay. right? Okay. Not when your parents are around. <laughs> it's perfectly fine to look that up while your parents are around. Just like to make it sound worse than it is. You don't have to be ashamed because of your thirst for knowledge. I love knowledge, dude. I'm a big old knowledge friend. Yeah, dude. I um. But uh, yeah, that's my embarrassing story about baseball. By what the way. do you like better, miniature golf or bowling or darts? What is bowling the miniature of? Um, I... neither. None of them. All of them. <laughs> They're all about equal. They're all just like, eh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of, I kind of feel that way. It's the hole in between the. It is. That's really dumb. Like these are like you're talking about like of all the pseudo sports. They're like on the Ocho on ESPN Ocho. Yeah, because these are not real sports, but people. There's always a person that will try to convince you that this is a sport. Okay. Do you think miniature <laughs> golf, bowling, or darts is any more of a sport than badminton? Oh, which one constitutes? Uh, which one? Which one's the, less of a sport? Which one of the pseudo sports is more of a sport, and which one is less of a sport? I would have to say bowling is probably one of the the more like legitimate of the pseudo sports. Okay. Because like there's some skill in bowling. I feel like. Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. there's skill in golf. I don't know if there's like. The whole, I mean, I guess there's if there's skill in golf, there's got to be skill in miniature golf. But I'm just right. Well, I mean, miniature golf is just like putting Grr. all the time. Putting is challenging. Yeah, who are you telling, man? You see yeah, this game right now. I'm I'm watching. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to take the focus off your gameplay. <laughs> I, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Darts. Dude, I like darts. I feel like darts is like just too much like winds of winds of chance. You know? Dude, darts is hard. Oh, y'all. Oh, look at that ish, dude. Oh, my God. I'm Holy in the windmill. Holy crap. Dude. Oh, oh, I'm in the spin dude. cycle, dude. No. The logs. Okay. All right. All I'm, right. I'm jammed up, though. I'm probably going to get smacked again. I'm jammed up, You got to get quick, dude. I'm jammed up. I can't move. It won't let How me. How the hell does this even work? Dude, you just got to wait. Like, you got to, yeah, you got to go when you get 
a chance. But you're not even getting a chance. <laughs> yeah, it's trying to. It's trying oh, to now it wants you. to be funny and like. Uh, get me in there. Okay, all right. I might be free. I'm all oh, okay, free. Okay, there you go. All right. It's got to time it right, dude. You and get it? Oh no, god! Die at the side of the edge. You and uh, oh, not okay. Now you're super free <coughs> because they don't even. Oh, uh, no, not. it's gonna hit me again. Oh, maybe it'll knock me in. Knock ha, me ha, in. Ha, no. This is a funny hole. No. All right, all right. I don't like funny holes. Actually, I'm kind of an anti-funny hole guy. Funny enough. And now, you, <laughs> and now that's your life. Now your life is. Yeah, yeah, this is my life now. All right, all right. Last hole. Can we get it in? It certainly oh. is a last hole. I've only got. I've only got. Oh, F. Go, 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 quick! <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Did it! All uh, right, well, what's your final score? Birdie! <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right, you're 28 over par, dude. Hell yeah, dude. Not Timber. too shabby. Not Full too game shabby. on Forest on Classic. All right, well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Chris Townsfolk. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that, uh, make sure you hit that notification bell. It'll tell you every time we put out a brand new video for you, Jonas. To your dirt. Uh, we are out.